Good morning, peoples. I'm hoping you are feeling fresh and great today because I'm getting ready to do some shamokening of the pook. As you can see in here on the cattening board, I have been cattening the pieces of the poo. And very important when you have the poke is that you use the great tastening spicenings. Today I'm using the Cajun 4 play spicening rub from the Dinosaur Barbecue, one of my favorite places in the whole wide wide world. Pour on the spicening. Plenty of the spicing. Whole lot of spicing. And then use the hands to uh, flip things, uh, the poke so that it gets spicing all over. And when you're goofing around uh, with the crudening mix and the hands in the poke is very important. You do the hygienic procedure manings, which is washing the hands. Washy washy, soapening, washy washy. And another great thing you can do when you have cuttened the poke pieces, when you have a lot of the boons left. Here's all the boons. From the boons, you cook a great bully unisus. It's a crappy weather day, but uh, there's no crappy weather when it comes to shamokinin. So let's get the shamokiner ready. Here's the shamokiner. So here I am setting up the cool in the shamokiner. And today we're gonna do some experimenting with the lightning mix. Today I'm going to use the very magnificent Swedish inventing called the Luftlighter. And it has a perfect name because it blows the Luft into the Shamokener with a hot Luft. So look at this. It's bloating the loof onto the cool. And you already see the sparklings are beginning. And the cool is beginning to sparkling. So we're only gonna lighten a few of the cools before we are getting ready to some Fantastic! In Weishamaning by the Swedish people, the Luft Lightener. We have now lightened only a little of the cool to make the uh, heatings spread over the long time of the shamokening. Ventilation manings are opened and we are putting on the look, opening the ventilation maning on the look, putting it on, waiting for the perfect shamokening temperature. Shamokin in. Shamokin in. So the shamokiner is now hot, so I'm going to go inside to preparationing the poke. The poke has now been in the cooling scoop, and we are gonna put it on the trays for the shamokin in, so it's not falling down in uh, the shamokiner. The puk is now on the tray, getting ready to be shamok. We're bringing it outside. Even the roux puk is looking delicious. We take off the look and we put the puk on the shamokener and then we put on the look. Very fast, put on the look, no heatings disappearing. We take some apling wood, put in the shamokener. And we also take some beech wood, and the beech wood has been collected at the beach. That's why they call it the beech wood. It's really shamokin' in now. 
and we gonna shamoken it for three hours before we opens up the loot. Shamoken him. Shamoken him. Adding some other shamokening wood for more shamook. Shamokening. While shopping for some lunch, I also found some organic poke necks. I'm gonna put in the shamok. Organic poke necks. So I'm uh, wiping off the poke necks to make them dry. So uh, before I use the rubbing. So I use the same crudening mix, plenty of crudenings, and then I rub in the crudening mix uh, with my own hands. Patterning, patterning, patterning the poop. Think of it as maybe if you're playing the bongas on the poop, uh, the jazz bongas. Swinging! Fiddly doobla ba! Fiddly doobla ba! Sweet looba! Fiddly doobla ba! Doobla -ba. Doobla -ba We're getting ready uh, to put the puke uh, on this, so we need to remove the look. Like this. Oh my god, it's looking delicious already! I put it uh, on the gloves. So now we move this to the side and see if we can fit the pork on the same uh, 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 grilling and galler. Here comes the poke. We're slicing the poke on the here. Slicing. And it fits right on. We just move it around a little. We has it all on the shamokner. We pulled on the look. And we add some shamokening wood for the shamokening. And it's shamokening beautifully. <sighs> Tastening. Hello peoples, it's been a while now, a couple of hours, and the sun is starting to shine. And it's time for us to take out the poke pieces to start working on them, preparationing them. So we open up the barbecue. Remove the look. Mmm, looks delicious. We take them uh, to the side, uh, moving them over to the preparationing stuff. Mmm, and hurry back, put on the loot. <laughs> Maybe I move the poke to the middle. Move the poke, put it on the loot. Removing uh, the weed. Now we put the puke pieces into the uh, Swedish design kastrull uh, by Stig Lindberg. It's very beautiful puke pieces. And the last piece. Mm -mm -mm. Delicious. Then inside we put some barbecue sauce. So barbecue sauce. Organic butter. Put it inside with the puke. Like that. And then we uh, stir it around and put on. We put it back in the shamokener like this. It will be beautiful. There we have it now, and we put on the look. Stay there for one hour thirty minutes. We need to stir around in the puk uh, to make uh, everything taste as tasting as possible. The book is looking beautiful, so we're stirring it around. Mm. 
all the juiciness to be all over. Put back the look on the poke. On the poke, looking beautiful. Put on the look. Here we go. And we also put in some brown sugar for the flavorings. Oh, for this poop to be sweet tasting. Okay, peoples, welcome back. Now we take the poop out of the gluten, put it back on the plating. Okay. Tastening. And we save this for the painstening sauce. Put on the look. Look is put on. I dropped the look. It's broken. The tiny poke pieces are now finished. I put them in the gruity. Mmm. Delicious. We do some painstening on the poke. Painsting, painsting. It's uh, late in the evenings and it's about time to do a bit more painstaining on the poke. It's dark here. Painsting, painsting. Mm -mm -mm. We pooed on the look. Putting the poke in the aluminum wrappings for a couple of hours. It looks like from outer space. It's late in the evenings. It's almost midnight. And it's time for me to go outside and bring in the poke from the shamokener. Light is put on, we open the door, we go outside and it's dark, you see, it's very dark outside here and we go over and to find the links, the shamokener, here, here we have the shamokener, still in shamok mode and we take out the book, remove the look. some opening in here. The poke smell delicious. We are now back inside ready to take a look at the poke. Opening the aluminum in the foil. It 
midnight and I'm pulling in the poke. So tastening. That's what I call juicy poke. been a long day but now we finish for this time and uh, thank you very much for watching and keep on shamoking in the free world